Hello and welcome to USF 2000 at New Hampshire Oval. We got some more oval racing in a road series today. It's the USF 2000, as I mentioned. They go to a couple oval races each season. Uh, last time it was Phoenix, and I wasn't too big a fan of how it drove. It didn't seem quite right. Um, Exit's clear. But uh, we'll Push see how New Hampshire goes. Kind of figured out what the line seems to be. Uh, you want to take that uh, second lane up, as is typical for New Hampshire. Could be wrong though. They did have the fastest time in the open practice. Was able to get that done, so that was cool. Green flag, green flag. We're gonna run to the line here. Okay, here comes your first time lap. Uh, we are the number one here today, fortunately, but could be all right. Ooh, drove it there. Tires are still cold, I guess. All right, so we'll get another run to the line here. Um, I imagine draft is going to be playing a big part in how this goes. So, um, I'm going to probably have to be patient. One more lap. Let guys battle it out, and maybe even the tires will end up being a factor. Pole Not position. quite sure. Uh, pole position, it says, but uh, still. Probably one of the first that came out, yeah, because that wasn't even <laughs> a lap I was trying, so. Not sure whether uh, when running alone I want to be. If I want to be shifting or not. I haven't quite figured that out yet, but that still wasn't a very good lap. I didn't really hit my marks very well. 29.5. Uh, apparently not bad. But still, I, I could have done so much better, I know, for sure. I think I didn't lift off the gas enough is my problem. Didn't quite hit my uh, line the way I wanted. And um, maybe I wanted to be warming up my tires or something, too. I'm pretty sure. But uh, We'll uh, enjoy this for what it is. Not sure how the racing's going to look. It might end up being pretty messy. Hopefully not, but uh, I'll be ready for it if that's what ends up happening. Yeah, I needed to lift off more. I was going in too hard. I can easily see that now. Although I know that my tires are warmer at this point. Pretty sure that's what I did wrong there. Sure, I'm uh, used to how this needs to go. Uh... Not sure if I'm going to need to be avoiding, you know, arrow push, if I need to be running different lines. Lots of unknowns for me here. Still have only done the one oval race in this car, and uh, the closest equivalent I've done to this, I'm still new at as well, which would probably be the Indy car. This is a very much slower Indy car, kind of. Um, it's the best comparison, so... Looks like we'll be rolling off P2 as of right now. So I'll go ahead and hop out here. If we got people going or not still, but hopefully it won't be too much longer. If you ever look at the results for the points. Six people finish in the rest are on one or two laps down at least. That's interesting to know. So we, uh, sounds like these are wreck fests. <laughs> From what I'm hearing here. It's fine, you got loads. Check my volume. It's a little loud. Um, the number two apparently hit the wall, and the number ten apparently hit the wall during qualifying. Oh wow, we only, <laughs> we only missed the pole by one one thousandth of a second. That's funny. Uh, this is the guy we were also competing with on uh, open practice best time, but that of course had to do with a lot of draft and being in the right place at the right time. So that's not really anything. And the race is going to have a lot to do with said draft. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to let guys battle hard, maybe keep my safe distance. 
Holding on to their draft. I can't understand where that guy said. You're getting a lot of bad mics lately. I can't understand what they're saying. That was uh, that happened in my Pro 2 race as well. The guy's mic quality was really bad. And I couldn't understand what he was saying. That's the end of the session. P2. So I imagine we're going to all be right on top of each other. It's funny, the number two also has the same last name as me and is also from the same region, but he spells his last name different. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Plains, Plains, Texas, Texas. Uh, I'm just glad I was able to do one of these races because... One lap to green. Line up on the outside. Pit road is closed right now. Not very good participation from when I was looking, but we got a nice uh, number here. Full 14 cars. It did not split. Before I was having trouble even getting a race to go official whenever I was ready to race. So just glad uh, I'll get the chance, even if I end up not liking it or even if I get wrecked. Just wanted to give it a try. Squeaky chair, or that. Ready to go. Of course, rolling starts here. And I don't believe there will be cautions. Because this is normally a road series, so. That was how it was in, at Phoenix, I believe. It is a time based race. P2. The track temp is Interesting for over racing. Fahrenheit. <clears throat> and we're rolling. You need to follow the pace car in the outside column. Catch the pace car. But they're warming their tires and not too concerned with keeping up with the pace car, I guess. What on earth? Get away from me. Pacing is always scary in road series. These, the road racers never know how to pace, it seems like. Pretty far back from the pace car. Gotta wait for this guy to jump. I'm gonna do a second gear start, I think. This guy is way too far back. What are you doing, man? This is not how these starts are supposed to work. Okay, Okay, carry on. Okay, carry on. Okay, carry on. Okay, carry on. Jesus, clear himself on our nose. All right. Inside. Still there at the bottom. Wrecking clear. each other. Go low. Go high. No. <sighs> that was the entire field. The next car's the leader. And the only guy left is blinking. All right, fantastic. How the fuck did I get through that? <laughs> that was the entire field. Why would you just stop in the middle? The name Dude, I, of the lead I didn't. I, thought, I was just trying to get out of the way. My car had no power. It would not move. But it wouldn't stop either. Sorry. I was not trying to do that at all. No, I don't think it was you. It was someone in a blue car. He just was stopped just directly in the middle. The next car's the leader. Okay, yeah, definitely not me. <laughs> funny, if, it'd be funny no, if it was talking you. about there it. There was like four cars that got in it. One guy would just stop just directly in the middle. wasn't even holding the pit or anything. <laughs> now stopped. I, <laughs> he stopped on the track. That car's blue. I'm like, is he talking about me for a second? Because that would be hilarious if he was yelling at me for slowing down for a wreck. So there's no, re no reason to fight this guy right now. Honestly, we might as well just wait for him to blink out so we can win, but no reason to fight him. Lose time. Just pass him with the draft later on, and uh, maybe with better tires, because we're taking it really easy. 
We got the full 13 minutes. The leader has just done a 29.6. Cast off down low. Go high. I can't really understand you because your mic quality 10, but I'm just going to sway behind you and take it easy until it's closer to the end. <sighs> so. Yeah, that was like a good man. That's what he said. Good plan. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, he's blinking real bad. His uh, mic quality is pretty bad. <laughs> That's uh. It's gonna be patient. The next car is the leader. It's kind of not running the uh, preferred line. It's kind of like hitting that uh, first lane. That uh, on the bottom there, which is banked less, I believe. That's why it's not quite as uh, preferred. Well, you can kind of use a little bit of it to get the vehicle the turning. Next the leader. Gonna need him to hit his marks though. The next car's the leader. Your last lap time was at oh. 29.6. Yeah, I'm gonna need it's much better than that. That's good consistency, keep it up. <laughs> I hope he just doesn't make a mistake in front of us. The leader. Pass him. Might have to, though. It's the guy behind's catching. New fastest lap for Stone, 29.5. He's giving it to me though. Thank you, man. So he should be able to hold on because of the draft, even if he's not hitting this uh, line in the corner. But uh, I've also been very nice to the tires, so that might be a factor as well. Ripping through the corner. <laughs> we should be able to pull away from him even with the uh, his draft advantage. You've just done a twenty nine point five. I can't believe that wreck at the start. That was pretty much the entire field. I have the feeling this is a pretty low strength of field, um, given that it's a series that's normally road. So maybe a lot of guys that aren't normally road racers, and then also the low participation, so... Your lap times are improving. This is exactly what we need something. Watch out for uh, lap cars wrecking in front of me. Hopefully that's not a thing that happens. Take his normal line in front of me. Okay. How that works, but you know, road racer probably don't know how to go, how to be lap traffic either. So I gotta be patient with him. You're leading. It was uh, extra cautious around the lap car, it looks like. I think we gained a little bit of time. 
still undecisive whether I want to be shifting or not. Feels bad to hit that limiter, but I know I'm like, you know, I lose a tiny bit of momentum whenever I uh, shift. It's hard to, it's hard to say. Thank you. Great. You're halfway home. Got plenty of fuel. Okay, Colton. We're matching race pace. Fortunately, this is probably going to be pretty boring to the end. I don't think the guy is back there biding his time. I think he legitimately can't keep up right now. Like what I was doing before, um, just waiting back. I don't think that's what he's doing. So I think we got this one in the bag unless we run into some lap car troubles. Glad I made it through that wreck. It was pretty scary. That might be the uh, highlight of the video. Almost definitely going to be the thumbnail. Now we've got left. Six and a half minutes. That lap time was 29 so we have plenty more laps to go. Okay, Colton, that's good consistency. Keep it up. Maybe there's something I don't know about tire fall off. That's a thing that could happen. Could be that uh, tires fall off a cliff at some point, and that guy knows it. And uh, he's being very nice to the tires at this point. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's unlikely. But uh, I'm not going to pretend I know everything about the series that I have only run on Oval one other time. I've always got to keep my mind open in case there's uh, stuff I need to learn. But I'm thinking uh, my 4,000 whatever I rating on Oval is a little higher than probably even the next couple of guys. Uh, in uh, number order, just by nature of this being, like I said, I normally the low series, and the low participation one at that. So we'll just hit our marks to the end. Be cautious around the lap traffic. We drove that a tiny bit. Wasn't particularly fast. I'm falling apart. It's Five all over. Running. Bring it on home. You're the man. You've just done a 29.6. Not forget. <laughs> I can't believe how many cars are in that rack. That's going to be a very interesting one to look back on. Definitely thought we'd be more in a pack at this point in the race. I expected everyone to be on top of each other, but they couldn't make it. it was that one lap where they ran into each other, and then uh, there's not enough cars left for a pack anymore. The guy behind is now open one. A little bit of draft from a lap car coming up. A little tight. wonder if we're getting some aero push or if that was just me overdriving it. I feel like we're pretty far back for aero push to be a thing, so probably just me. Not uh, lifting off enough. So this is uh, our biggest obstacle approaching the end of this race, keeping us from victory lane, lap traffic being unpredictable. As Nick would call them, chicken streakers. <laughs> the one guy kind of took his normal line in front of us, which uh, was fine. I was kind of prepared to see that. He almost got a wall right there. Just keeping an eye on him. Be 
he's intentionally running that high line, anticipating me coming up on him. I don't know for sure what the intentions are. Outside. Clear. Hope is that he's not going to fight me because he can catch up because of the draft. Colton, we're matching race pace. Hey, right, lap car to have to battle me. <laughs> I think we're fine. We're getting much more grip in the corners, it looks like. Alright. Oh, someone just fell in the living room. That lap time was 29.6. We're getting strange noises coming from the cockpit of the car. We got. We think we have a vibration. We're gonna have to come in and pit. <laughs> got one and a half minutes, or so. And another lap car coming up, though. We're currently setting the pace. Setting the pace, I believe that means uh, we are the fastest car on track at the moment. I believe that's what that call out means. Don't get to hear that one very often. It's a little off pace. Hopefully, he will not do anything unpredictable. Like hit the wall on entry. He gets right in our way. Excuse me. Keep the car outside. Hit the wall and come kill me. Clear. Thank you. I've seen these things before. <laughs> Felt those things before. It hurts. <laughs> Feels bad, man. Anticipation of whatever was going on there, but not too much. And uh, we just gotta make one more circle around the track. That's right, circle in a road series. Wowie Kazowie. And here it goes. We've done it. Done it. Ooh, a little swerving. Well done, Colton. Great win. You deserve you it today. All right. Hooray! How do IndyCar drivers do? Go uh, <laughs> one. Thanks, good race, guys. Quite the massive wreck on the first lap there. Yeah, someone decided to just park in the middle of a fucking... <laughs> okay, the race is over. Bring Sorry to hear that, man. Alright. Yeah, it's whatever, man. Ruined my whole race. How do you burn out this thing? Can you? Can. Yeah. I'll do Polish victory lap. That's my favorite thing to do anyway. Whoever that was, I mean, you did the right thing by stopping, but if you're in the, you can't just sit in the middle. Close victory lap. It certainly doesn't turn right as well as it turns left. <laughs> Oh, this is so cool. I love seeing tracks backwards. It's like seeing it for the first time. It's so interesting. <laughs> I 
Very cool. And stop. All right. Uh, so we started P2, finished P1. We'll see the incidents. 79.90. So I'm sure the tires did uh, make a, an effect at some point, though not too bad. And of course, I did that. So probably took a couple percentages off of uh, th those numbers there at the end. But let's uh, see what's uh, happened. Yeah, this uh, number seven just drives up and hits him. He goes for blade two, to land three, to end to the five. So they'd be crashing. They'd be crashing a lot. Oh my god. Okay, so who's the guy that uh, is getting yelled at? Is it this guy? Guy in blue? This is the guy. I mean, uh. Gotta slow down. <laughs> well, at least a little bit. Kinda hard to blame. I, he's yelling at this guy. His car's broken, man. <laughs> he doesn't have a choice. I mean, yeah, he can tow a little sooner. But he did. Also. So I think you just gotta think about what you can do to improve rather than being upset about uh, other things that happened. Like, if you slow down a little bit more, maybe you see that the guy disappears. He did tow. Assuming that is the guy he's upset about. And, uh, you know that you, you can take this clear path. That's, uh, because he keeps in it. He goes, and still have time to swerve to the right here. Just, uh, not a quick enough reaction time. Maybe. Incisive. It's rough. But, uh, that's why you gotta slow down. You improve your chances to react in time. And make it through. I mean, all you gotta do, with so many, how many cars were in this wreck, all you gotta do is slow down. And look at all these people you pass. So that's, uh, that's that. This guy's not going anywhere. Literally one tire works. He stops, he can, he, I think he gets out of the car pretty darn quick, if you ask me. Because you can't get out of the car until it comes to a near complete stop. So he's probably not even starting the tire still right by now. And then he gets out pretty darn quick, seems like to me, but... Alright, enough about that. Let's, uh see how we got through it so i know that they're going to be racing close and there's a potential for an accident early on so when this guy goes for the pass i just let him do it i see this guy drifting up and i know they're probably going to connect so i'm already off the gas pretty good see it happen i'm off the gas see the opening go for it thankfully make it through and then uh this is the guy we ride behind for a while until uh i guess he fell off or something Huge wreck, though. I mean, it took out just about everybody. All these guys. That guy's got damage, I'm sure. From that little hit. More pile in. Is this guy in it? I'm trying to see who made it through. <laughs> he went under it. That's funny. So, he ended up with a decent finish. Who else we got? The other, uh, Tyndall, assuming you pronounce it the same as well, the number two. He does not get through it without, uh, touching anyone, but he actually navigated it pretty darn well. He ended up coming up to third, so he had speed. Had he not hit the wall during qualifying and qualified up there, we probably would have been battling him. It would have been Tyndall versus Tyndall. <laughs> But uh, unfortunately, he gets stuck behind the wreck at the start. No cautions. Maybe even gets a tiny bit of damage. Probably on the nose. So uh, we don't see him. The rest of the race. It's a massive wreck. That's like This is only a 14-car field. That's almost the entire field. How about this guy? He just He's slowing down for it, I think. He hits the brakes, maybe. And he spins it. So just a major track blocker. That guy makes it through, slows down enough to be able to navigate it and look at all those spots again. Six right there, and then some more after guys are damaged. And uh, he ends up finishing fourth after starting 14th, so. Slow down for Rex, PSA. So we're going to see this guy blink out for the rest of the race probably, but. Uh, this is the guy that was pretty fast. He gets, 
This poor guy, man, he gets taken out the exact same way by a different guy. That seems like they were both going for the third lane, though. And maybe neither of them knew it was happening. So he's kind of like lane 2.5, but kind of maybe trying to go for lane 3, and then he's going for lane 3 as well, taking the more normal angle into the corner. Like, usually you would think if you're going to start the corner here, you'd be taking another lane down, but he kind of just stays there, and then they come together. And this, <laughs> this poor fella gets taken out by two different guys in the same exact way. And it looks like it's not very uncommon. That guy saved it, though. That guy saved it. How many finished on the lead lap? Six cars? Oh! Wow. I don't think I've... How'd you get loose like that? Shift down an extra time, maybe? Wow. I never felt loose like that the entire race. This is on lap 23 when it's probably... Or it should be tighter. It's interesting. Not the only one, though. I wonder if guys are shifting into fourth, maybe? Maybe it's a little looser in fourth gear? Not sure. Just maybe putting way too much wheel in it. No. Absolutely runs over the guy in front of him there. This guy... This guy runs into guys multiple times. Oh, this was after the race. It must have been. He just stops on track, I guess. This guy after the race is over? Or was he mad at him? I don't know. Seems silly to retaliate over this, but... Uh, that's it. So, not much contact after the first one, because all the contact got out of the way in the one, <laughs> in the one accident. But uh, we'll finish with our 0x P1 finish. And uh, one of only three that uh, kept it clean. I mean, the 10 had a good race. That's about, uh, that's about it. The 13, you know, he slowed down enough to make it through the big wreck. He got himself a 0x as well. So, uh, about as good as I could hope for, I think. Um, yeah, that's that. That's uh, some more oval racing in the USF 2000. Hard to even comment how I felt about the racing, because I didn't really get to do too much. I kind of just rode behind the 10 until, uh, until he got, I guess, too tight. Maybe overdrove the tires or something, and then, uh, I was just able to go around him. And, uh, just kind of drove. <laughs> I don't know, man. Everyone got taken out in the wreck, so... Thanks for watching. That's all I got for uh, for this one. Um, you know, see you next time.